This video is brought to you by CBD Man CBD Oil. CBD Man is the man for you to contact for all your CBD needs. Mr. David Feldman, if I may have one moment of your time, brother, old Soup here would kindly ask that you oh, listen up, brother. You see, old Soup here, I've been monitoring the inner web ski, and I'm keeping tabs on what's going on in the world of bare knuckle fighting. And I know that the British invasion was momentarily derailed when the two Brits headed back overseas, back to the United Kingdom. But you see, sir, today, Mr. Good John, he posted a post on social media saying that things are getting worked out between the Brits and BKFC. And I think that's super awesome. And it's something that the three of me absolutely will climb on board with and support. So now with Good John and Godbeer coming back to the USA to fight for Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, they're going to need some opponents to face. And old Soup here, I want to throw a super suggestion out to you. You see, Mr. Godbeer, he was in line to fight for that heavyweight strap. Mr. Sam Shoemaker, the hillbilly hammer, is now in position to fight for the executioner's strap. And that's one hell of a good match. But Mr. Godbeer needs an opponent to put him in line for the winner of that bout. And since there's another super big heavyweight out there, Josh the Hammer Burns, he needs an opponent as well. And he's been putting out that Burns vs. Beltron BKFC hashtag. And that's one hell of a good matchup. There was going to be a matchup between Sam Schumacher and Josh Burns. So those four gentlemen are already all intertwined in matches that have yet to transpire. And old Soup here has worked their way out that the four men should fight in one night and determine a winner-take-all super champion. You see, you've already got half the work done. Beltron vs. Schumacher. All you gotta do is make Burns vs. Godbeer on the other half of the market, and you got yourself a perfect two-man, two-man, four-man tournament one night. Winners square off and toe the line. They knuckle up under the BKFC banner in a four-man, one-night heavyweight tournament for all the gold. BKFC Heavyweight Championship Belt, the Police Gazette World Diamond Heavyweight Belt. They both go on the line, one winner takes all. You're going to need to get yourself two more gentlemen to fight to be ready in case one of those four fighters can't continue on that night. So you better make yourself a super disqualifier bout. And I'm going to suggest two fighters right now that deserve that shot. One, double A, Arnold Adams. And number two, this is going to come as a shocker, brother, but you got to bring somebody in. Somebody who's already in the States, but they are the Canadian bare knuckle heavyweight champion. Zombie Bobby Brents. Bobby.
Bobby Brent's first Arnold Adams and the winner of that bout. They get to step in if one of the four gentlemen in the four-man main event doesn't get to go through if they're unable to continue. You catch my drift, brother? What do you think of that? And I'm going to do one up on that. You got to give Tyler Goodjohn a fight as well. And you know damn well that the world wants to see Brandon Lambert versus Tyler Goodjohn inside of the squared circle. Brandon Lambert, he got that first fight with BKFC off the back of Tyler Goodjohn. He talked his way into that bout. And hats off to him, man, because Molo, you did it, brother. You did exactly what you said you were going to do, and you stepped inside the ring ropes of the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. And you knuckled up, and you gave it your all. You deserve another fight with them, regardless of what the world says. I believe that you deserve another fight, and I believe that you should back that $10,000 challenge you put out there before you put those 10 G's on the table. And Tyler Goodjohn, you my man, I'm going to suggest that you do the same. You put 10 G's on the table too. 20 grand to the winner. Winner takes all of that bout. Loser leaves bare knuckle fighting championship forever. There's a super stipulation for you. You sick of Brandon Lambert? You sick of Tyler Goodjohn? Here's one way to get rid of one of them. Throw the super stipulation on board. 20 G's goes to the winner that they put up. You put up the other half of the purse. One of those guys is going to walk out of there with their pockets loaded, their future secure, with bare knuckle fighting championship and their ego intact. That's one hell of a matchup. The world may not think so. They may think that that's one lopsided victory for Tyler Goodjohn right out of the gate. But don't you dare underestimate Brandon Lambert. The man already achieved the unachievable by getting a bare knuckle fighting championship contract. No pro fights on record. That can be verified on the drop of a hat, right? So he essentially had his first pro fight inside the square circle. First pro fight in North America, that's been televised, that's for sure. So it seems pretty simple to me, man. The fight to make for Brandon Lambert is Tyler Goodjohn. Tyler didn't exactly do BKFC any favors when he went back over to the UK and he posted the post that he did on social media. Does he deserve to get right back in line for the title fight? If I were a promoter, which I am not, but if I were, and I liked your idea of this, Mr. Feldman, that a fighter doesn't have to like you to fight for you, and you don't have to like him for him to fight for you. I love that attitude, and I think that's great. But I also think that Tyler Goodjohn crossed the line a little bit there. And I think that for the world to see fairness in a time where nothing seems to be fair out there, you could do the fair thing, sir. You give Brandon Lambert a chance. You give Tyler Goodjohn a chance. Those two fight each other. Winner stays, loser goes. Tyler Goodjohn wins that fight. He's back in the title fight picture. I don't know. Those are just my super suggestions for you, sir, for you to consider. Super fan, I respect the hell out of you, my man. You're going to do whatever's best for the company, whether it was my suggestions or not. And you know what, man? You got to do one, one little thing for all soup here. Give Clay Teal 
one more opportunity to tote that ring card high above his head inside the squared circle of Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. And you let the Bare Knuckle Ring Boy walk his walk and strut his stuff for the world to enjoy one more time. What do you say, Mr. Feldman? I am the super fan signing out from the Fonz's office.